Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Release the hearts, release the hearts, and begin to share. Thank you, Pastor. Release the hearts and begin to share. Begin to share. Kada da ba shaba. Ki ato de be. Sini mi kapa ha. To de be kaba ha. Pani ne me kata anto ne me kapa ya. Apana na mo. She ne me kapa anto ne me kapa. Ibidi bi anto ni yata. Ibidi bi kaba anto ne me kapa. Ibidi bi kaba anto ni yata ya. Ibidi bi kaba anto ne me kapa. Ibidi bi kaba anto ne me kapa. Ibidi bi ato anto ni yata ya. Ebedebe aponta nakata, ebedebe kapanta ni miha, ebedebe kapanta ya, apadebe atode ataya, apadebe atodebe ataya, apadebe atodebe ataya, apanto ne mekapa. Somebody posted in the message groups, kada dabo shebedebe kabaya, ebedebe kapanto ne mekabaya, pada dabo shebedebe kaba. Lift your voice and pray. Kida bashaha. Abadabo, Shebedebe Kaban Tone Mekabaya. Padadabo, Subedebe Kaba. A Padadabo, Shebedebe Kabaha. Kabadabo, Subedebe Kaban Tone Mekapa. A Pananamo, Shemene Mekapa. A Pananama Kapan Tone Mekapa. Ebedebe Yaton Tane Mekapa. A Pantoni Yatan Tane Meha. Hey, Kiantana Mosha. Kiantana Makapan Tone Meha. Ibadabo, Shebedebe Kaban Tone Mekapa. Panene me kapan tone me kapa, panene me katan tone yata, panene me kapan tone me kapa. E panana mo shede be kapa ya, e pade de be kaba, a panana mo sone me kapa. Kada da bo shebe de be kapa, a pada da bo sube de be kapa, a bada bo shebe de be kapa. E paya antana makan tone kapa, a panana mo sheme de me kapa, katan tone yata. Hey, ki antana mo sha. Latoya posted in the message group. Kida basha. E pada bo sude be kapa. E pada ba kapa antone me kapa. A pana ma shene me kapa ya. E pana me kapa antone me kapa. E pana me kapa antone yata. E pana me kapa antone me kapa. A pana ma shene 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 me yata. Apantone kapa, hey, ki antana moshaya. Apane ne me kapa, 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 apane ne me kapa. Apantone me kapa. Lift your voice and pray. 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 A pada da bo shebe de be kabaya. A pada da bo shebe de be kapa. Hebe de be kapa antone me kapa. A pana na mo shebe de be kapa. Hebe de be yanta na me kapa. A panta na ma she na ma haya. Hebe de be kapa. 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 Hebe de be yata ya. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. We are coming against the spirit of shame. We are coming against the spirit of shame. We are going against the spirit of shame. Lift your voice and pray. Any demonic attack of shame, release the heart. When you come on, release the heart. Don't wait for anyone. Kida Any demonic attack of shame, we are coming against it now. 
Kadadabo, Shebe de Becaba, Epa 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 de Beata, Apa, Ata, Apa, Ata, Apa, Epantaneaha, Epanama Kapa, 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 Epanama a Panama Kapa, a Pantania, a Panamayata, a Panamayata, a Panamayata, a Panamayata. We are coming against the spirit of shame. We are coming against the spirit of shame. Lift your voice and pray. Release the hearts and pray. A Padabo, Shebedebeha, Kebedebo Kabadabo, Shebedebe Kabaya, a Padebo Kabadabo, Shebedebe Kabadababa. Ebedebe kanto ne meka paya, ha pada da bo shebedebe kapa ntaya. Ebedebe kanto ne meka paya, 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 ebedebe kanto ne meka paya. Ha panto ne meka pa, ha panta ne yata, ha panama kapaya, ha panama kapaya, ha panama kapaya. Any demonic attack of shame against any of you. I reverse it. I curse it. In the name of Jesus. In the spirit of shame. Any attack of shame. Against your destinies. Against your lives. I come against it now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any of you that is watching me. Fighting shame. Fighting shame. Apanama soneme. Apanama kapaya. May the Holy Ghost fire. Consume the spirit of shame. Now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, release the hearts, tap into the atmosphere. Release the hearts, all of you, tap into the atmosphere. All 40 of you, go ahead and share quickly. Go ahead and share and release the hearts. Don't wait for anyone. The power and the presence of God is here. We are coming against the spirit of shame. Any spirit of shame, it must live your life. Any spirit of shame, it must live your life. Any spirit of shame, it must live your life. Kadabosha, Panama Sunimia. Release the hearts, release the hearts. Kidabasha, Pananamo, Sunimi Kapa, Apanama Kataya, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Any demonic attack of shame, any spirit of shame, fighting your destiny, fighting your ministry, fighting your life, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of shame, Apanama Kapaya, fighting your family. Fighting your children, we come against it now. In the name of Jesus, we come against it now. In the name of Jesus, we come against it now. Hey! In the name of Jesus, a padarabo shebe de beha, ebe de be kanto ne me kapa, a pane me kapaya, a pane me kapaya, a pane me kapaya, a pane me kapaya, a pane me kapaya. We invoke the fire of God against the spirit of shame. We invoke the fire of God against the spirit of shame. Against all 50 of you. Anyone suffering from the spirit of shame. Anyone being attacked by the spirit of shame. We come against it now. In the name of Jesus. We come against it now. In the name of Jesus. We come against it now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all 50 of you release the hearts and tap into the atmosphere. We come against any spirit of shame, a Panama Kapaya, any spirit of shame fighting your destiny, fighting your breakthrough. We come against it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. We come against it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. We come against it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. We command the spirit of shame to live your life now in the name of Jesus. 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 We come against the spirit of shame. We come against the spirit of shame. We come against the spirit of shame. Apanama Kapaya. Ibadama Kapa. Apaniata. Apaniata. 
Apaniata, 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 Apantoni Kapa, Ipantaniata. Hey, Kida Bashaha, Apananamakapa, 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 any spirit of shame attaching himself into your life, any spirit of shame attaching itself into your life, we come against it now. In the name of Jesus, we defeat the spirit of shame through sickness, through miscarriage. We come against it now. In the name of Jesus, any spirit of shame against your destiny, through sickness, through defeat, through illnesses, through miscarriage, through depression, through limitation, we come against it now. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. We detach ourselves from every demonic spirit of shame. Any spirit of shame. We detach ourselves. We detach ourselves from the spirit of shame. We come against the spirit of shame in the name of Jesus. According to Isaiah, according to Isaiah 61, verse 7, he says, For your shame, you shall receive double honor. For your shame, you shall receive double honor. For your shame, release the hearts. Release the hearts. The fire of God is here. The power of God is here. Don't wait for anyone. And share. For your shame, you will receive double portion. For your shame, you will receive double portion. For your shame, you will receive double honor. For your shame, I trade anything. Any garment of shame that is covering your body, any garment of shame covering your body, I trade it for double honor. I trade it for double honor. I trade it for double honor. I trade any garment of shame covering your face, covering your body, covering your job, covering your ministry. And I trade it as a daughter of Zion. For double honor in the name of Jesus. Kabarabo, Shebedebe Kaba. Kibadaba Kabarabo, Shebedebeha. Abadabo, Shebedebe Kabaha. Apadaba. What version is that? Huh? What type of version is that, yeah? Are you serious right now? Give me another version. Kadabashaya. Padarabo, Subidibi Kapa. Habarabo, Shebedebe Kapaya. Give me the new King James, King James or NIV. Don't bring me any other version. Kadabashaya. Pananabo Sunimi Kapaya. A Panama Kapaya. Hibarabo Shebedebe Kabaya. A Panama Kapaya. For your shame, you shall receive double honor. For your shame, you shall receive double honor. For your shame, release the heart. Kidabasha. Panimi Kataya. A Panama Kapa. A Panama Kapa. A Panama Kapa. A Panama Kapa. Any garment of shame. Covering any of you, any garment of shame, delaying your breakthrough, any garment of shame, causing you a apadabo shedebe kapa, any garment of shame, delaying your breakthrough, any garment of shame, delaying your breakthrough, we come against it now, in the name of Jesus, 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 apanama kapaya. All 60 of you watching me. All 60 of you watching me. I pray in the name of Jesus. Any of you covered by the garment of shame. I trade it now. I remove it now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. May the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy any garment of shame. Covering your body. Any garment of shame. I come against it now. In the name of Jesus. I remove it. Release the heart, release the heart, and tap into this atmosphere. Don't be disobedient. Don't be disobedient. Release the heart and tap into the atmosphere. Matakataya, Apanamashaya, Inamakatoyapa, Pantonimikapa. I come against any garment of shame, 
any garment of shame covering your body, covering your destiny, covering your breakthrough, any garment of shame, I come against it in the name of Jesus. Any garment of shame covering your job, covering your business, I remove it now. I remove it now. I remove it now. I remove it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Karabo Shebebe Kabaha. Ibarabo Shebebe Kabaha. Padarabo Sudibi Kabaya. Any garment of shame covering your destiny. Any garment of shame covering your life. Every garment of shame covering your destiny. Covering your life. I come against it. I destroy it. May it catch fire. May it catch fire. Now. 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 Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Any garment of shame. Catch fire now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any garment of shame. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Any garment of shame. Through miscarriage, any garment of shame, through disappointment, any garment of shame, through infertility, any garment of shame, through delay, we come against it now. We come against it now. We destroy it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey! Pananamo sunimi kapaya apananama kapa apananama kapa apananama kapa apananama kapa apananama kapa we come against any spirit of shame any garment of shame covering your destiny covering your life kadabashaya we command it to be reversed in the name of Jesus I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. I feel the presence of God. We come against any garment of shame. Any garment of shame covering your destiny. Any garment of shame covering your life. We come against any garment of shame. Any garment of shame covering your destiny. Any garment of shame covering your destiny. Any garment of shame covering your destiny. Any garment of shame. Apada dabosha. Ebedebe kabatoya. Imanama kapaya. Apane neme kapa. Apane neme kapa. Apane neme kapa. Apane neme kapa. Any garment of shame. Apane neme kapa. Any garment of shame. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. In a makapaya. Apanama shea. Apanama kapa. Apanama sonimi. Any garment of shame. Through miscarriage. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Any garment of shame. Through this delay. Any garment of shame. Be destroyed. Abayata. 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 Abayata, 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 Abaniata, Apan Tony Mikapa, any garment of shame, any spirit of shame, I command it to catch fire, I command it to catch fire, I command it to catch fire, now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Today I was at a, I was praying and the Lord said to me that some of you, your breakthrough is coming, but the demon, the spirit of shame is trying to take it away from you. You know what shame does? The spirit of shame, that's what the Bible says, for your shame you shall receive double honor. Why is that? Because the spirit of shame, it comes to attach itself to you at the moment of your greatest achievement, at the moment of your greatest testimony, at the moment of your greatest miracle. That is when the spirit of shame comes and attach itself. 
as for example is when somebody has given birth to a baby everybody is praising that baby the light has fallen upon your life and everybody is praising god for the baby you have received all of a sudden the baby dies all of a sudden the baby dies that is the spirit of shame that is how the spirit of shame comes it doesn't come to attack you when everything is okay it comes into your life when your biggest breakthrough is coming into your life that is when the spirit of shame comes and attach itself you've received a very big promotion it has drawn attention from all over the world to you everybody is congratulating you everybody is wishing you well everybody is thanking god for your life all of a sudden you get fired that is how the spirit of shame works you have become pregnant you are carrying your child you have told everybody everybody is enjoying for you all of a sudden a miscarriage happens that is how the spirit of shame comes he doesn't come into your life when nothing is happening the spirit of shame comes when everything is going right that is when it comes to attack you all 70 of you release the heart all 70 of you release the heart all 70 of you release the heart Kidabasha. that is when the spirit of shame comes and attach itself into your life everybody is celebrating for you everybody is happy for you all of a sudden a strange sickness a strange sickness a strange sickness out of nowhere a strange sickness out of nowhere attach yourself to your body you just got married you just got married after waiting years upon years you are married years upon years you are finally married then your husband or your wife dies that is the spirit of shame the lord brings a lot of eyes upon you eyes are looking upon you eyes are watching you everybody is happy for you you are on the top there all of a sudden something bad happens and everybody goes, oh, spirit of shame. Spirit of shame. We are coming against it one more time. Release the hearts. Release the hearts. Kida Bashaya. Release the hearts. Kida Basudim. And share. Share. Share this on your wall. Just hit the share button. It doesn't cost you any money. There are people in your life. There are people in your friends list suffering from that spirit of shame. We are going to pray for six more minutes. We are going to pray for six more minutes. After that, Kida Bashaya. After that, we will have a testimony shared and then we will share the word of God. We are going to pray again. Any spirit of shame, any spirit of shame that is attaching himself to your breakthrough, we are coming against it now. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. We come against any spirit of shame. Any spirit of shame. That wants to attach himself into your life. We come against it now. In the name of Jesus. We bind all 60 of you watching me. I soak you in the fire of God. I command the Holy Ghost fire to fall upon you and destroy any garment of shame to cast out to drive away every spirit of shame in the name of Jesus any spirit of shame fighting your destiny fighting your breakthrough fighting your breakthrough fighting your bro progress any spirit of shame we come against it now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus for your shame, receive double honor now. In the name of Jesus. For your shame, receive double honor. For your shame, receive double honor. For your shame, receive double honor. Receive double honor. Receive double honor. In the name of Jesus. For your shame, receive double honor. 
Receive it now. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Apada Bashaya. It is Sewa Bonsu. I come against any spirit of shame in your life. I curse it to its root in the name of Jesus. And I drive it out of your life. Any garment of shame covering you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I remove it now in the name of Jesus. I set you free from any spirit of shame in the name of Jesus. I set you free from every spirit of shame. In the name of Jesus, I set you free from every spirit of shame. In the name of Jesus, and for your shame, receive double honor. Receive double portion. Receive double honor. Receive double portion. Release the hearts. Release the hearts. Release the hearts. Release the hearts. Receive double honor. All of you, receive double honor. In the name of Jesus, I cancel any activities of shame in your life. I cancel any shame against eternal word ministries. Any shame against eternal word ministries. I cancel it. I destroy it. In the name of Jesus, I come against any spirit of shame that fights eternal word ministries. In the name of Jesus, I come against it now. I destroy it now. I command it to be catch fire. I command any spirit of shame, any garment of shame, operating against eternal word ministry, operating against my life. I command it to catch fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hey! 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 Thank you, Jesus. I come against any limitations. I come against any limitations. Any limitations fighting your destiny. Any limitations fighting your breakthrough. I come against it now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I come against any limitations in your life. Hey, hey, catch fire. Kikataya. Apananamoshea. Apananamakapa. Apananamo. Shenamekapa. Kidanamo. Shebebea. Kibanamo. Shebebekapa. Apananamakapaya. Apananamakapaya. I command any limitations against your destiny, against your family. To catch fire now in the name of Jesus. Ibarabo Shebelebeha, Paraba Kabaya, Apantanabosha, Kiantani Mikapa, Apantoni Mikapaya, Ibarabo Shebelebe Kapaya. Go ahead and share and release the heart. Tap into the atmosphere. Release the heart. Kirabashaya, Kirabashaya, Kirabashaya. Kidabashaya, Apantonia, we come against the spirit of shame. We come against the spirit of shame on Mount Zion. There is deliverance 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 on Mount Zion. There is deliverance. We receive our deliverance. From shame, we receive our deliverance from shame in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and we possess our possessions, we possess our possessions, we possess our possessions, we possess our possessions, we possess Kadabasha, Kidabakataya, we possess our possessions. We possess our possessions. We possess our possessions in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We possess our possessions. We possess. We possess. We possess. We possess. We possess. Kadadabasha. Kidadabosha Badabaha. I see chains breaking. I see chains breaking. 
I see chains breaking. I see chains breaking. Kadabasha. Kidabakatoya. Inanamo sunimikapa. Pananamo shebedebekapa. I see chains breaking. I see chains breaking. I see chains breaking. I see chains breaking. Apadabosha. I see chains breaking. Kidabosha badabaha. Kadabo subidibia. We lay our crown and worship you. The glory of God is here. I see many chains breaking, breaking off of your lives. Today, some of you, you will never be the same again. You will never be the same again. You will never be the same. The Lord said to me, go and pray against the spirit of shame. I declare and decree all of you under the sound of my voice right now that by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the presence of God on this platform, in this ministry, I remove every garment of shame out of your life. And I pray right now that the angel of the living God will visit you and take away every garment of shame and put on you double honor, double glory, double favor, double grace in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For on Mount Zion, there's deliverance. On Mount Zion, there's holiness. And the people of God shall possess their possession. And the house of Jacob shall be like a fire. I thank God for each and every one of you. I know that some chains are being broken. I see, I see 10 of you. 10 of you. The clothing taken off of you. Ten of you, clothing taken off of you. Ten of you, clothing taken off of you. There's ten of you. Every time you will dream, you are always wearing rags. Who is that person watching me? You are always wearing rags in your dreams. In your dreams, it seems you are always wearing rags. When you dream, it seems like you are always wearing rags in your dream. Kadarabo Shebedebeha. Who is that person? Kidabashaya. It seems like what you are wearing is never a good thing. You are always wearing rags in your dream. You are always wearing torn clothes. Torn clothes. And you are naked. Who is somebody watching me? You are naked in your dream. In your dreams, you are naked walking around. Who is that person? Who is that person watching me? You are naked when you are dream. In your dreams, you are naked. Kidabasha. In your dreams, you are naked. In your dreams. In your dreams, you are naked running around. You either don't have pants. You either only have a pants on. You don't have a shirt. Oh, Jesus. Kadadabashaha. You are always naked in your dreams. You are always naked in your dreams. Hey! Hey! I come against that demonic spirit. I come against that demonic spirit. You are naked in your dreams. And if you're not naked, you are always wearing rags. About 10 of you. About 10 of you. Yeah, that's you too. About 10 of you. The Lord revealed to me it was 10 of you. Release the hearts and share when you come on. About 10 of you. 10 of you. 10 of you. The Lord said to me, 10 of you. Ten of you. Jesus. Jesus. You know, some of you, sometimes you think that this topic, I make them up. Almost every one of you says you. Almost every one of you. Sometimes you think these topics, I make them up. I don't make them up. The Holy Ghost drops them in my heart. Drops them to me. Pray against the spirit of shame before barefooted. Yeah. If you are barefooted too. Yeah. 
If you dream and you don't have shoes on, you don't have shoes on, you are naked, or you sometimes have shirt, you don't have a shirt, but you have, you have bottom, but you don't have a shirt, or you are wearing rags, or somebody just said they are covered in feces. Jesus. I am going to, those of you, the Holy Ghost just sent me to tell you this. I'm going to pray for you. You are going to feel heat all over you. Some of you, you feel heat at your feet. Some of you, you feel heat at your back. Some of you, you feel heat in your hands. Some of you, you feel heat in your head. I'm going to pray for you that the Holy Ghost power will come upon you now and destroy every demonic coven of shame, any spirit of shame on operation in your life. We are coming against it now. We are coming against it now. Any spirit of shame. Any spirit of shame. Release the hearts when you come on. Any spirit of shame. Release the hearts and share when you come on. Share when you come on. Kadabo Shebedebeha. Hey! Thank you, Holy Ghost. Those of you with that problem, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands for me. Kadabo Shadabaha. Kidabo Shebedebe Kabaya. Apadi bika bantoni miha. Hey! Ki antona masheya. Hey! Kanarabo subidi bika baha. Kanarabo shebede bika bahaya. Panarabo subidi bika bahata. Kinarabo shebede bika paya. Panarabo inamashe. Apana makapaya. Apana makapaya. Apana makapaya. Apana makapaya. I am Tony Mikapa, a pan Tony Yataya, Hirabo, Shereya, Hey, Kianta, Kian Tony Mikapa, a panimikatanamo, Shenevekapa. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice suffering from the spirit of shame, suffering from the spirit of sadback. Right now I stand in the name of Jesus, in the name that is risen above every other name. And I come against any spirit of shame now. In the name of Jesus, I command the Holy Ghost fire to come upon you now. To come upon you now. Receive the Holy Ghost fire. Receive the Holy Ghost fire. Receive the Holy Ghost fire. Receive it now, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I cast out the spirit of shame out of your life. I cast it out now. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I cast out the spirit of shame. I cast out the spirit of setback. I cast out the spirit of retrogression. I cast out the spirit of limitation out of your life. I command those spirits to live your life now, 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 in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will move forward. I declare and I decree, you shall have your baby. I declare and I decree, you shall have your job. I declare and I decree, you shall have what you are looking for. In the name of Jesus, no more setback. In the name of Jesus, no more shame. 
In the name of Jesus, no more retrogression. In the name of Jesus, no more limitation. 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 No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. Hey. No more. No more. No more. In the name of Jesus, no more limitation, no more shame, no more backwardness, no more setbacks. From today forward, I move you forward. I move you forward. May the favor of God come upon you now. May the favor of God come upon you now. May the glory of God come upon you now. Receive double honor. Receive double honor. Receive double honor. Receive double honor. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Receive double honor. In the name of Jesus. Receive double honor. Any limitations against this ministry. I break it. I command any limitations against this ministry. I command it to catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Any limitations of views. Any limitations of racial setbacks, any racial limitations, I come against it in the name of Jesus. Some of you, the limitation that you are suffering from, it is a racial limitation. It is a racial limitation. You are suffering from what we call racial limitations. The thing that you are asking for, you deserve it. You qualify for it. But because you are black, because you are Hispanic, because you are this, you are not able to get it. Because you are African, you are not able to get it. Because it's a racial limitation. Some of you, you are a nurse. There's a, there are two, three women watching me. You are nurses. You are due for promotion. You are due for promotion. Three nurses watching me now. Three, go ahead and share, please. Please go ahead and share. Re share this on your wall. Share this on your wall. Don't be disobedient. Share this on your wall. If you are on and I'm praying for you, share this on your wall. Share this in groups you are allowed to. Share it on your wall and release the hearts. There are three nurses watching me. You are due for promotion. Your boss is considering promoting you. Your boss... Your supervisor, but because you are black, the fact that you are black uh, is, is becoming a limitation. They are considering how much the percentage of how much blacks should be should be that that position and how much whites. Meanwhile, you have done everything you can to get this job you've done everything you can to deter to attain this position but they don't want to give it for you because of a limitation we come against any racial limitation any racial limitation any racial limitation any racial limitations against your destiny any racial limitations against your work against you at work any racial limitations any limitations through race i come against it in the name of jesus i destroy it now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus any limitations from race any limitations from race i come against it now in the name of jesus any limitations uh, fighting this ministry? Any limitations uh, from my mother's side, from my father's side, from my children's side, from Columbus? Uh, any limitations uh, fighting me from the mouth of pastors, uh, from the mouth of elders, from the mouth of people? I destroy it now. In the name of Jesus, uh, I command every limitation uh, to break now. To break now, to break now, to break now, to break now, in the name of Jesus. I break any limitations. Any limitations set against this ministry, any limitations set against my life, I command it to break. I command every limitation represented on this platform right now to catch fire. 
Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Karabashaya. The power of God is here. Release the hearts. Kidaboshaya. The power of God is here. The power of God is here. Hey! He's holy. He's holy. Kadarabasha. Kidarabo. Shebedebekabahaya. Kadarabo. Subidibikabahaya. Release the hearts. Kidabashaya. Hey! Hey! Kiataya. Hey! Kadabo. Shebedebeha. Kabarabo. Subidibikabahaya. Ibadabo. Shebedebekabaha. Padarabo. Subidibikabaya. Kadaraba. Shebedebekabaya. We come against every spirit of shame. We come against every spirit of shame. I declare and I decree. I declare and I decree. I am making prophetic declarations upon you. Then we'll go ahead and share the word. I'm making declarations upon you now. Just lift your hands and say I receive it. Or just release the heart to tap into it. Release the heart to tap into it. And just open your mouth and say, I receive it. I receive it. I'm making prophetic declarations. I declare and I decree. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That every limitation set against your life is broken now. In the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Any spirit of shame has disappeared out of your life. In the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. Any spirit of shame... That has been set against your job, your breakthrough, your progress. It is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of shame set against, set against, set against your forwardness. I said it is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any limitations is destroyed. Receive favor now in the name of Jesus. Receive glory now in the name of Jesus. Receive favor now. In the name of Jesus, receive power now. In the name of Jesus, you shall move forward. You shall move forward. You will overcome the things your mother and your father couldn't overcome. You will overcome them. In the name of Jesus, you shall have your children. In the name of Jesus, you shall have that job. In the name of Jesus, you shall have that job. In the name of Jesus, you shall have that job. In the name of Jesus, your ministry will move forward. In the name of Jesus, I come against any spirit of shame that will try to attach itself to you at the moment of your breakthrough, at the moment of your testimony, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. All of you receive double honor in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Kira Bashaya. Go ahead and share. Kadadabo. I see I sense something broken in the atmosphere. Broken in the atmosphere. Tap into a mame watinyaku. God bless you. I come against any spirit of shame coming against your destiny. I declare and I decree that a year by this time, the Lord will show you favor. I declare and I decree that a year by this time, the Lord will show you favor. I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus that a year by this time, the Lord will show you favor. A year by this time, the Lord will show you mercy. A year by this time, the Lord will show you favor. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Release the hearts. I feel the power of God. Please, all of you, stay for the word. Please, all of you, stay for the word. Don't think I've prayed for you and you are free. If you are disobedient to the voice of God, huh? these things it wouldn't work. You understand? It's obedience. It's obedience. Some of you are suffering from shame, I know. But if you don't have to go to work, stay and listen to the word of God. 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 Because it is the word of God that will sustain you. And even some of you, as you are listening to the word now, 
as you are listening to the word now, you will begin to feel fire all over you. And that is the Lord destroying the spirit of shame in your life. As you are receiving the word, as you are hearing the word, those of you that have not shared, go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. If you guys will remember, there was a sister who came on and she said that she wanted to kill herself. One Sibonsu. I don't know if you remember. It was morning time. It was the 5 a.m. one. She came on and she wanted to kill herself. She said she had children and she could not, um, she could not find a job. She needed a job. She came on and said that she needed a job because she doesn't have any money. Her children don't have food. Like her children are struggling to have food to eat and all those things. And she was struggling. She said she's actually thinking about killing herself. A lot of you were on. And most of you, I prayed for her. I spoke with her. I spoke with her and I, I, I led her to Christ. And I prayed with her. I came against any demonic entities that was fighting her breakthrough. Today, she's on the live right now. She's on the live right now. And today, she has gotten a job. Since we prayed for her, it's been just one week or so. Just one week since we prayed for her. And she has gotten a new job. She has gotten a job. We sent her money. Even some of you were on, we put together money. Lydia, one of the sisters that is on, Lydia, she's on now. She sent me money to go and give to her. She gave me money. I added some to it. And we sent it for her. We sent the money to Wansi. This is the woman that's on now. We sent the money to her. Because she literally had nothing to take care of herself. Release the heart and thank the name of the Lord for what has happened. If you are looking for a breakthrough, thank Jesus for what has happened to this woman. And she said that she, she wanted to kill herself. She said it prayed out loud. And we reached out to her. Now she went and she has gotten a job. She's starting tomorrow. God is awesome. Go ahead and speak. Well, thank you, man of God. How are you? I'm doing great. Wow, I thank God. I went, I went, um, I've been surviving, I've been surviving on, on what you sent me till to date. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I managed to do, to buy some things for my children so that they can be able to survive. And after we prayed, I went for that interview for the first time and yeah. the boss was and very now, stubborn. The boss was very stubborn. I even inboxed you. I told you. Yeah. Yeah. When and, she went for the interview, the yes. boss was very stubborn. So she inboxed me. She was very sad. And she inboxed me that she, she did everything that she's supposed to do. But the boss was very stubborn. And she felt like she wasn't going to get the job. And I told her, she shouldn't worry. She's going to get the job. She shouldn't worry. She's going to get the job. And today, she says she starts tomorrow. Go ahead. Yeah, they called me in the morning and they told me to go back. To go start work tomorrow. To go and start morning. work tomorrow. We thank God. And yes. do you have... Yes, we thank I will, God. I will speak to you if you... Because I know you're probably not going to get paid right away. So I will probably send you something to keep you till you get paid. Okay? <laughs> oh my God. You know, I was even supposed to inbox you and tell you about that because you are, I you did are not have to, any you are, transport. Yeah, you are yes, I was going to tell you. You are going to inbox <laughs> me to tell me that you need money. The Lord has already told me. For, to survive for the man. <laughs> oh my God. We thank God. We thank yeah. God. We thank God. You don't have to kill yourself. I told you that your children and, 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 and everybody, your children, God loves you. I told you and now you see that Jesus Christ loves you, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Amen. She, she Amen. just said, when I said that I'm going to send her money so that she can have something to hold on to it, she said that, woman of God, I was going to even inbox you. <laughs> she was thinking about inboxing me, right? Go ahead and say it. Yeah, I was supposed to inbox you and tell you about it. You were going to But you just said it before I even said it. Yes. Yeah, she was going, because you know Africa, they're not going to pay you right away. <laughs> we wish that they will, but they will not. <laughs> but
But the spirit no, of shame. No, to end month. Yeah, we'll send you something. Don't worry, okay? To take care of you till you, you get your first pay. Make sure that when you go to church, at where you ever you go to church, make sure when you get your first check, you pay your 10% to that church. Do you understand? Yes. Uh, be a tight payer. Yes. Remove your hands from your mouth. Yes. Remove your hands from your mouth. Be a tight payer. Okay? Take 10% yes. of the money of your, of your income. Don't take 10% of the money I send you because you didn't work for it. I want you to take 10% <laughs> of the money when you work and you've received your, your paycheck. That money is what you take 10% of and you give it to God. Okay? And your church. All right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I bless God for your life. I thank God for the turn around in one week. Turn around in one week. One week turn around. May that same anointing come upon all of you that is watching me. All 75 of you that is watching me under the sound of my voice. May that same anointing that has come upon this woman to turn around her situation in one week. May that same unction come upon all of you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I bless God for the person who shared for you to come on. I bless God for that person. I bless God for that person who shared for you to come on. I thank God for that person. I thank God for that person. Give your children kisses for me. Okay? Give them kisses for me. Yes. You you hear from yes. me today. All right? After the thing, you hear okay. from me. Okay. All right? God bless you. All right. God okay. bless you. Bye-bye. Amen. Amen. Stay on and listen to the word. Okay? All right. Okay. We thank God for his favor. We thank God for his favor. We thank God. One week turn around. She said, woman of God, I've been looking for a job. I've been looking for a job all week or so. Looking for a job. I have not been able to find a job. She's been looking for a job for a whole year or so. No job. And she came on the morning. She said, I feel like killing myself. I'm so tired of begging for money. I'm begging. I'm so tired of begging for food. It was very sad. I prayed for her. We sent her something. A lot of you contributed. We sent her something. And now we prayed for her to get a job. And now she's gotten a job. And now she's gotten a job. And now she's gotten a job. And so uh, we thank God. We are doing marvelous things. The Lord is doing marvelous things. Those of you that want to sow something into her life, she is a born again believer. I led her to Christ personally myself. Even if she's not a born again believer, you should still do it. Even if she was an atheist, even if she was a Muslim, even if she was Buddhist, there's no way you should let somebody and their children go hungry because they don't go worship from your religion. It's not right. But when I spoke to her, she willingly out of her heart. I told her, you don't have to accept, you don't have to accept Christ for me to give you money. No. You can still tell me you don't want to accept Christ and I will still send you the money. But she said she wanted to receive Christ again. And she did. And she did. And now God has glorified himself in her life. She's always on listening to the word. And now she's gotten a job. Any one of you watching me, looking for a job, looking for a breakthrough, the same ocean that has come to change the destiny of this woman shall come upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Stay on, all 75, 75 of you, stay on for the word of God. Stay on for the word of God. All of you, stay on for the word. Stay on for the word. You tend to want to leave. You tend to not want to listen to the word of God. It's not good. It's not good. Stay for the teachings. Stay for the teachings. It is the teachings that will sustain the, the, the prayers that we've prayed. Do you understand? The devil is not afraid of my prayers. Well, he is. Because the word of God is in me. So he's afraid of my prayers. But I want the devil to be afraid of you. Huh? I want the devil to be afraid of you. So it is important that you stay for the word. For the revelation that is in the word of God. Yesterday, we received such powerful revelation. 
Such powerful revelation from his word. We are going to continue on. If you haven't shared yet, go ahead and share. If you have not shared yet, go ahead and share. Kadadabo, Shebedebe Kabaya. We thank the name of the Lord. We are doing great things. We are doing great things. We are doing great things. Whatever you guys do. No, 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 no. That is not it. Or oh, 19. Okay, great. Yeah, God bless you. Yeah, that is it. That is it. I thank God for each and every one of you. I bless God for your lives so much. I thank God for each and every one of you. Please hold on for me for a moment. I thank God for each and every one of you. I thank God for your lives. We are studying John chapter 20 verse 19. Any one of you that have your Bibles, please go ahead and get your Bibles. Let's study the word of God. 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 After that, I'll be prophesying to two, three of you. The Lord has given me a word as we were praying against the spirit of shame. As we were praying against the spirit of shame, the Lord gave me a word for some of you. For some of you. And so it's a direction. It's a word of direction. It's a word of direction to help you. To help you. But God bless you all so much. Nana B, go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. Mami Pokuya, go ahead and share. Release the hearts and share. I thank God for each and every one of you. I know by the end of this word, you'll be blessed. Father Lord, I thank you. I commit myself into your hands, Lord. I pray, Lord, for your power to come upon me. I pray that I decrease and that you will increase Jesus Christ. I pray committing the heart of everyone under the sound of my voice. I pray that every heart of stone will be melted into a heart of flesh. In the name of Jesus, let your power and your presence come upon us. Let your glory fill this place, O oh Lord. Let us not live here the same. Let us have an encounter with you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, let our lives be transformed by your word, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, any demonic attack against us, as we are listening to your word, let it be falling off of our lives. In the name of Jesus, any sickness in our body, as we are listening to your word, let that sickness fall off. In the name of Jesus, anyone that has shared, oh God, that your word will go out. Anyone that has hit the share button, share it in groups, share it in places, that your word will go out. I pray in the name of Jesus, uh, that your favor will come upon them, that your glory will come upon them. In the name of Jesus, uh, I thank you and I give you glory. Glorify yourself in our lives, Lord. Let us not live here the same, oh God. Fulfill the high desires, oh God, uh, of everyone under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. There's something that I want to say. Next week, God willing, I'll probably be going, I'll probably not be on. I need to go into a place and just seek the face of God. Because as I told some of you, in the month of, I told you in the month of May, that June, July, August was a breakthrough month, an open heavens month. I told you guys, and I said to you that, most of you, the women that are on, are supposed to be pregnant. Most of you are supposed to receive your papers. Most of you are supposed to receive your complete healing. All these things are happening. Most of you are pregnant. Most of you have received your paper document issues. Most of you have received your healings and things are happening. But there is some of you that is left. There is some of you that is left. And so I need to go away and pray and seek the face of God. So this will happen next week. It will be like three days off. Three days off next week. Three days or four days. I'll be somewhere. Pastor Opuni will completely take over. Will be teaching you the teachings and everything. And I tell you this because it is necessary for me to go away and pray. I need to do that. Um, I told you guys that this ministry is a ministry of results. It's a ministry of results. The reason why we have the testimonies that we are having... We have the testimonies yesterday, today, people were, somebody was been delivered from fibroid. Somebody had been delivered from black clots. Today alone, we've shared three testimonies. Today alone, three testimonies. When that also happens, uh, attacks, evil eyes come against you. People begin to wish you wrong. People begin to wish you evil. You understand what I'm saying? Many, many eyes begin to look upon this ministry. So I need to, I need to be able to 
go away hide away and pray seek the face of god recharge you understand for the next level recharge and 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 attain some 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 unction and so i'll be doing that but pastor puni will be with you praying with you doing all these things with you and teaching you guys the word i want you all to come on and study the word listen to me you don't fool anybody if you are saying that woman of god is not coming on and so i'm not going to come and listen to the word it is god that you are trying to trying to think you are better than it is god not anyone not me not not, not minister Opuni. you're not trying to fool anyone by yourself because you can't even fool god either you come here every time you guys come here i tell you release the hearts and share all of you every time you come here i tell you you don't come here for me you come here because you want to encounter god because you want to see god and because we have made god because we have made god the the, the 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 chairman because we have made the holy ghost the chairman of this ministry that is why we have the testimonies that we have that is why we have the testimonies that we have because we have made jesus the chairman of this ministry we have made the holy ghost the boss of this ministry not me there's nothing i can do for you not my husband minister puni either none of us it is god it is god to him be all the glory and all the praise and all the honor and so it is him i go to seek his face i want you all to keep coming on and studying the word build yourself in the most holy faith because while i'm praying if you have not been coming on i will know i will know don't lie i will know if you have not been coming on i will know i will know and you will go to tell me the type of heart you have for God is that you are depending on men. Is that you are dependent on men. But I don't want any of you to be dependent on men because men will fail you. It's only God that will not fail you. Men will fail you. Men will disappoint you. Men will reject you. There are some people who have left this ministry simply because I cut my hair. Simply because I am showing my hair, they have decided they don't no longer be part of this ministry. These are people I have fasted and prayed for, for breakthroughs for them. They are enjoying their breakthroughs now because I prayed for them. I'm not saying this to brag, I'm not. But it's the truth. Because I decided to show my natural hair and not to wear a wig. They were okay when I was wearing wigs. They were okay when I was tying my hair. But now that I'm not tying my hair, they are not okay. And so they no longer come on. That is how human beings are. That is how people are. They will fail you. They will fail you. Human beings are like that. They always repay evil, repay good with evil. Human beings always repay good with evil always repay good with evil that's how they are including me so i don't want any of you to be dependent on me don't come here thinking you're coming to see me you're coming to see god you are coming to see god you're not coming to see me don't build your faith upon me build your faith in christ on christ the solid rock I stand, all other grounds are sinking sand. All other grounds. All other grounds are sinking sand. But you know me, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Because before I came here, the Lord had already trained me. <laughs> the Holy Ghost had already trained me. You can see that I've lost my voice. You can see that I've lost my voice. You can see that. You can see that I've lost my voice. He said, don't forget to bless the water. <laughs> I won't. I won't forget. Wow. 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 I won't forget. You can see that I've lost my voice. And it's that I pray for you guys. I pray for you guys that the Lord will show you favor because once you receive your testimonies, once you are being blessed, I'm being blessed. Once you are being blessed, I'm being blessed. I get my joy from your transformation, from your testimonies. From 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 your the joy in your eyes. That's what I get my joy from. Nothing else gives me joy. That's how I get my joy. But I am 
I, the Holy Ghost trained me before I came on the line. So nothing moves me. Nor will I go and beg anyone to come and watch me. Never that. No. Never ever. Never ever. Because it's not my might. It's not my might that I do this. That I have to come and beg you to come and watch me. Never that. I will never ever do that. Never beg anyone to watch me. Because I don't do it with my might. So I let them go. But I, I say this to tell you how human beings are. You understand? That is how human beings are. Don't depend on anyone. Don't say, well, this man of God I like because he's anointed. This woman of God I don't like because he's not anointed. Don't do that. Come on to serve God. Come on to serve God. Come on to see God. Yes, I know. Pastor Pony is very, very anointed. Very, very anointed man. Very, very anointed man. Very, very anointed man. All right. Let's share the word of God. So, John 20, 19. Father, let your word have free course in the name of Jesus. If you are not share this on your wall, I'm not talking about groups. I'm not talking about groups. Share this on your wall. Share this on your wall. Share this on your wall. All 70 of you, share this on your wall. Not groups. Share this on your wall. John 19. The Bible says, in the same day, in the first day of the week, in the evening time, in the first day of the week, in the evening time, in the first day, so Mary Magdalene saw Jesus early in the morning. If this was the same day, when the disciples were together, where the doors locked for the fear of Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them. Are you listening? So powerful. Powerful. Look at this. This word is so powerful. I can just preach on John chapter 19. John 20 verse 19. Just the verse 19 I can just preach on it. He says, on then in the same day, remember it was early in the morning when, when Mary Magdalene went into the graveyard looking for Jesus. The same day, Jesus come to him and say, Mary, you know, Mary's wailing. She's like, I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. If I don't see Jesus, I'm not moving. I'm not shaking. I'm not going to go anywhere until I see Jesus. She's crying. She's doing all sorts of things. Jesus finally reveals himself to Mary. The same day, the Bible says that the disciples were together and they had locked themselves in the room, fear of the Jewish leaders coming to destroy them. They had locked themselves in the room in fear of the Jewish leaders. Then Jesus came and stood among them. Meaning that he did not knock in. He did not open the door. Jesus did not go through the front door. He did not knock. He came in among them and stood among them while the door was locked. While the door was locked, he came and stood among them. And said to them, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Some of you, you have locked yourself up in the situation that you are in for the fear of things. You have locked yourself up in 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 the job that you don't like that don't pay you well and and you're saying well let me just do this job the same and 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 you know and you are thinking how can god even come and get me out of this one how can how can god come and get out of this one well i'm here to tell you by this scripture jesus christ doesn't need an avenue he can just come in all you need to do is call upon him release the heart and share god bless you release the heart and share all you need to do is call upon him. You, that's it. You know, some of you, you complicate things. You complicate serving Christ. You complicate it. You begin to think, how? 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 Well, how was Jesus supposed to? How, how did Jesus enter the door? How did Jesus enter the, the room that they were locked themselves in? When the room was locked, they would lock the room in fear of themselves. 
I'm telling you, if Jesus even had gone and knocked at the door, they would have opened him. If Jesus had gone and knocked at the door, they wouldn't have opened him. They would not have opened him. Because they are afraid. That's why they've locked the door. But Jesus, what did he do? He came in there anyway. He came in there anyway. Why? Because while they were in the room, I'm sure the disciples were just focused on Christ. You are watching me under the sound of my voice. And you are saying, this family that I come from, this family, this family that I come from, that everything doesn't seem to go well in this family. Everything seems to be going wrong in this family. How can Jesus come in? How can Jesus come in? How can he come and fix this family? How can he come and get me out? How can he come and, and, and restore me? You are wondering. Today, I want to tell you to stop wondering. Just call on him. Just call on him. Just look unto him. Just call on him. Don't worry about how he will come in. Don't worry about how he's going to fix it. Just call on him. Don't worry about how. Some of you, you've gone to places and you know they've given you all sorts of things. Go ahead, you know. Don't do that. Just call on Jesus. Just call on him. Don't worry about how he's going to come and help you. Don't worry about that. Just call on him. Hey! The door was locked. But he came in there and he said to them, Peace! be unto you peace be unto you whatever situation you are in right now that is arresting your neck that is entangling your neck whatever situation you are not in prison but you feel like you are in prison you are not in prison but you feel like you are in prison you are not in prison but you feel like you are in prison, like are in prison. Like are in prison. hey just call on jesus just call on jesus just call on Jesus. Just call on Jesus. Just call on Jesus. Just call on him. Don't worry about how he's going to deliver you. Don't worry about how he's going to set you free. Don't worry about how he's going to liberate you. Just call on him. Just call on him. Just call on him. That's why we are learning about Christ. That's why we are learning about Christ. Kida Bashaya. He showed them and they were overjoyed when they saw him. They were overjoyed when they realized it was Jesus. They were overjoyed. They were overjoyed because they knew they no longer have to be afraid. They knew they no longer have to be afraid. The reason why they were in the room locked living in fear because the Jesus was not there. Listen to me, most of you, about 20 of you suffering from the spirit of fear. You are afraid. The reason why you are afraid, mama and dada, though you serve God, though you've known God all your life, the reason why you are afraid because Jesus is not in your life. Jesus is not in it. That is why it's period. There's no ifs and buts. There is no ifs and buts. You're like, well, but I've served God my whole life. How are you going to tell me that Jesus is not in my situation? He's not in it. Because if he's in it, you know fear. The fact that the spirit of fear has come over you is because Jesus is not in it. Period. Jesus is not in it. Do you realize that these people were locked in the room when Jesus came to them? The room was still locked while Jesus appeared to them. But the Bible says that they were overjoyed. Why? Because their fear has left nobody that is afraid overjoys the thing is when jesus is not in your life you are afraid when jesus is control of your life you are overjoyed they were still in a locked room somebody please catch this revelation please catch this revelation they were still in a locked room when jesus appeared unto them and said peace be unto you the doors did not automatically open no they were still in a locked room. But the Bible says that they were no longer in fear. They were now overjoyed when they saw the Lord. 
Meaning, whatever situation that has erupted around you, once you know that God is in your life, you will have joy. You will have peace. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You are waiting to have children, but you are laughing. Why? Because Christ is in it. The door is still locked. You will feel like a prisoner, but you still have joy. It's not fear. Why? Because Christ is in your life. Some of you, you go to church, you sing in the choirs, you do all the, you know, the, the kumbayas, the, the jumping jacks, all these things, but you go back home afraid. You back, go back home terrified. You go back home not knowing the God you serve. You go back home not knowing the God you serve. Not knowing the God you serve. Because Jesus is not in your life. As for church, everybody can go. As for prayer, everybody can pray. As for church, everybody can go. As for prayer, everybody can pray. I'm talking about, is Jesus in your life? Do you know him at all? Do you know him? That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Verse 21. Jesus said, again, peace be unto you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Open doors. Peace be unto you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And then he breathed unto them. Receive the Holy Spirit. He comes to them. He tells them, peace be unto you. Go ahead and share. God bless you. And he says to them, as the Father has sent me, I am sending you out. You are no longer going to dwell in this locked room. I am sending you out. I am sending you out. But what does he give them? The Holy Spirit. Before they leave, out of the enclosed room, out of the captivity called fear, what does, the Holy, what does he give them? The Holy Ghost. He comes to them in their captivity. They have locked themselves up. They are in fear. They are in a room called fear. And Jesus comes in. Jesus comes in and says, Peace be unto you. Peace. Have peace. Here, take peace. After that, he says to them, I'm sending you out of this fear, out of this place of fear. I am sending you out out of this place of fear. I am releasing you out of this place of fear, out of this place of entanglement. I am releasing you. Go out of this place of fear. But you need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Spirit. And so he breathed unto them the Holy Ghost. He breathed unto them the Holy Ghost. And he says, if you forgive anyone's sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Verse 24. Now Thomas, known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. Release the heart. Tap into the atmosphere. The presence of God is here was not with the disciples when Jesus came. But the other disciples said to him, Thomas, we have seen the Lord. Thomas, Jesus Christ has woken from his death. He's alive and we can see him. We can see him. He's in our life. He has shown himself to us. He has shown us his arms and the place that they pierced, his side. He has shown everything to us. Jesus is among us. What does Thomas say? I don't believe it. Until I see with my naked eye, me, I will not believe ever that Jesus is alive. You know why? Because the spirit of fear 
was still in Thomas. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Why did Thomas do that? Because while the Lord was casting out the spirit of fear, by breathing upon them the Holy Ghost, Thomas was not there. And Thomas was still filled with the spirit of fear. Thomas was still filled with the spirit of fear while the others had received it. Please catch this revelation. Catch this revelation. Catch this revelation. Catch this revelation. Thomas was still filled with the spirit of fear. He was still filled. That is why he said, I can't believe. Don't you think if Jesus had stood at the door and knocked at the door for the disciples to open, say, hey guys, this is Jesus. Hey guys, this is Jesus. This is Jesus. Open the door. Do you think they would have opened? No. They wouldn't have opened. No way. They wouldn't have opened because they were filled with fear. They would have said, well, Jesus, show us, show us through the window, your side and your hands. Show us through the window, your side and your hands, so that we will know it's you. That is the same thing Thomas requested for. He wasn't there when the Spirit of God was being poured out on the disciples. And so out of fear, Thomas doubted. Out of fear, Thomas doubted. Thomas did not believe Jesus Christ because of fear. Some of you, when I tell you, you are going to have children, I know you are 40 years old. I know you are still waiting on God. But I tell you that God has told me that you are going to have children. You don't believe it. You don't believe it fear you don't believe it some of you because of how long you have struggled how long you have struggled and here i am this young uh, common girl telling you that god is going to do it and not only do it but do it through facebook you don't want to believe it it's fear it's fear it's fear that is causing you to doubt you know, fear is a very, it's a, it's, a, it's a potent, it's a weapon that the devil uses the most. It's fear. It's fear. It's fear. Please release the hearts when you, and share, 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 share when you come on, share, 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 share. This word is so powerful, share. It is fear. Fear attacks all of us, even including me. If I be honest, today, Fear attacked me today. This morning, I did not hear news that were pleasing to my ears. Immediately, I began to even, I couldn't even pray. So, my husband looked at me and he said, You, you are, up, the spirit of fear is coming upon you. The spirit of fear is coming upon you. Don't be afraid. 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 We thank God for your healing. We thank God for your healing. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It is fear that causes you to doubt. It is fear that causes you to doubt. It is fear that causes Thomas to doubt Jesus. To doubt when all 11, do you know how much 11 disciples have to come and tell you, Hey, we have seen God and you are saying no. You are saying no, it's not true. 11 disciples, 11 disciples walking up to you, Thomas, telling you we have seen God. And you say, no, I don't believe them. It's fear. His fear. He didn't want to let his guard down. He was holding on to that fear. 
the same fear that caused them to lock themselves in the room. May the Lord deliver us today. All of us. That's why I told you, all of you, stay on. We all have fear. Fear is something you can never cast out completely. And we are going to deal with it today. But he said unto them, unless I see the nails marks in his hands and put my finger and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand in his side can you imagine this guy <laughs> he said unless i seal the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nail marks were put my finger inside and put my hand in his side hey I will not believe. <laughs> I will not believe. Unless I put my hands on the side, I will not believe. I will not believe until I do all these things. Until I go to a pastor who tells me to throw five stones upon my head, three stones in the left, tell me to do jumping jacks. I will not believe that I'm healed. I will not believe that I'm healed, woman of God, unless you tell me to drink soap. Every day, you are always praying over just common water. Please, I won't believe it. Pray over soap and tell me to drink it. That I'll believe. If the situation concerning your deliverance, concerning your healing, is not too mwangunangwain, you don't believe it. That's why these false, false, false prophets are making so much money off of you guys. They are making so much money off of you guys. Bring magic cubes. Bring magic cubes. And let me make something for you. You come on, I say, go and get a cup of water. Your own cup of water. Go and get it. And let me pray over it for you. Only a cup of water? Hey, as for you, where, where did you come from? Who, who prayed for you to receive your anointing? People are praying over things. You are, you are praying over. And you don't believe. You are like Thomas. Remember, Thomas was a disciple. Huh? Thomas was a disciple running around casting devils while Jesus was still alive and not persecuted. Please catch this revelation. Please catch this revelation. Thomas was still a disciple. He was still filled with the power of God. Do you know that? Thomas was filled with the power of God. Yes, he was. Thomas was running around casting devils. He was one of the disciples. Thomas was a believer of Christ. Laying hands on people, casting devils, walking with Jesus, walked with Jesus for three years, walked with him, walked with him side by side, side by side, side by side, side by side. You may be watching me now thinking I'm a deaconess at my church. I'm an elder at my church. I'm a pastor. I cannot have doubt. I cannot have belief. If Thomas can have it, so can you. If Thomas can have it, so can you. If Thomas, who walked side by side with Christ, eye to eyeball, can have this extreme level of doubt, then you can. We all can. A week later, this guy said he wouldn't believe him. He sat there a week later still not believing can you imagine a week later a week later the disciples were in the house again and thomas was with them though the doors were locked again <laughs> read oh, verse 26 read verse 26 though the doors were locked again Jesus came and stood among them. 
while the doors were locked and said to them again peace be unto you then he came to Thomas he walked up to Thomas and he said to Thomas put your hands in this finger here see my hands reach out your hands and put it on my side stop doubting and believe stop doubting and believe stop doubting release the hearts release the hearts when you come on and share stop doubting and believe that's simple is that simple is that simple is that simple stop doubting and believe then all of a sudden thomas said my lord my god oh, it's you it's you now that i have something to eat is you now that i have the husband is you now that i have the twins is you now that i have the job is you <laughs> eh, is you or is you now that i have the money is you when i didn't have it i didn't think it was you now that i have a good place to stay a place to put my head now i know that you are with me <laughs> my lord my god Come and give me a hug. Come and give me a hug. Come and give me a hug. Now that I have my baby in my womb, I now know that you are with me. I now know. And I know. Now that I have my husband and I have that ring on my hand, I now know. I now know that you are my God. I now know that you are my God. I now know that you are my God. Jesus looked at him and said, Thomas, it is because you have seen me you have believed but blessed are those who have not seen me who have not seen blessed are those thomas who have not seen but yet believe blessed are those who have not seen but yet believe blessed thomas are those who have not seen you have not seen your baby yet but you know you're going to have that child release the heart and share share those of you that just came on share we are going to pray against the spirit of fear. Anyone suffering from the spirit of fear, we are going to pray that the Holy Ghost will fill you and cast it out. And if you are sharing, you can put anyone struggling with the spirit of fear. Please watch. And I'll pray over water. How can I? How can I? How can I? Blessed are those, blessed are those who believe in Christ. You see, this year is the same thing. You all know that if I was on right now praying for people to be sick, to be healed, everybody will be on, about 200 of you. Sometimes we go as 150, 140 people watching live. But now that I'm sharing the word, you see, only the, those of you, these are the people, you guys are the people who have not seen yet believe. You are the ones on now. I know some of you are at work. I know some of you are at work. But those of you that desire to know Christ, you desire to grow in Him. You desire to know Him. You desire to grow. You desire to grow in Him. You desire to, to know Him. You desire to have fellowship with Him more than money more than all the other things you realize that god is more than your healing jesus christ is more than your healing jesus christ is more than your 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 deliverance jesus christ is more than your 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 your, your the things you are looking for from him jesus christ is more than that 
Jesus Christ is more than that. You realize that the things that you are looking for, and that is why you are on studying the word of God. And you are the people he calls blessed. Blessed are those who have not seen yet, but believe. 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 Hallelujah. Blessed are those who have not seen yet, but they believe. Verse 30 says, Jesus performed many signs in the presence of his disciples, which were not recorded in this book, but they were written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in him. Hallelujah. He said that Jesus Christ did many, many miracles, performed many signs in front of his disciples. When you believe him, when you have not seen, you are his disciple. Believe in him and not seeing. That is faith. What is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And things not seen. That's faith. That is what Jesus said to Thomas. You believe now because you see. Release the hearts and share, all of you. You believe now because you see. But blessed is he that has not been that has not seen yet believe. Faith is a substance of things hoped for and evidence not seen. And evidence not seen, that is faith. You know God is going to do it. And so you serve him. You know God is going to do it. And so you are studying his word. You know God is going to do it. And so it doesn't matter who is preaching. You are going to come on and pray and receive your word and, 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 and grow in him because you know that God is going to do it for you. You know it. It doesn't matter who is... It doesn't matter who is before you speaking. Who is before you preaching? It doesn't matter. You are just there because you believe. Though you have not seen. That is what faith is. That is a person. Blessed is a person who has faith. Who has faith? Who has faith? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin to pray. This word of God has come to you. There are some people that are watching me. You don't know Jesus. You realize that as I'm sharing this word now, you don't know Jesus and you want to know him. If that person is you, say, woman of God is me. Go ahead and say quickly, we are about to pray. We are about to pray. We are about to pray. We are about to pray against the spirit of fear. We now realize that the reason why we are afraid is because Jesus Christ is not in our life. Because Jesus Christ is not at the center of everything that we do. Because we realize that the disciples were afraid. But when Jesus came, they were rejoicing. They were in joy. Their situation had not changed, but they were happy. Because Jesus Christ was in their life. Because Jesus Christ was in their life. You may be watching me right now. You are watching me right now. And you are filled with fear. It's because Jesus Christ, you have not made Jesus Christ the center of the situation. You are going to pray right now and hand whatever problem you are going through, just hand it over to Jesus. Whatever be your worry, whatever be anything that you are struggling with, just hand it over to Jesus. Say a very simple heartfelt prayer. Alright, I'll go ahead and Lynn. Lynn Preska, who wants to join Lynn Preska? Who wants to join Lynn Preska and give their life to Christ? Go ahead and release the house, all of you. Please go ahead and share as well. Who wants to join Lynn Preska? Who wants to join Lynn Preska and give their life to Christ? Lynn Preska, God bless you. You have made the best decision. You have made the best decision. Who wants to join Lynn Preska? But while you are doing that, while you are contemplating, ask the Lord. Whatever situation in your life, that is causing you to be afraid. Whatever situation that is in your life, causing you to be afraid, causing you to doubt God, causing you to, to question if God is truly in your life, if God is, if, 
causing you to be afraid, go ahead and say, Lord, I surrender this situation to you. I surrender this situation to you, Lord. I surrender in Jesus. Come and take absolute control of this situation. Come and take absolute control of my pregnancy issue. Come and take absolute control of my of my of my childbearing issue. Come and take absolute control of my marriage. My marriage is destroying. My marriage is in a, is in a, is, is is in a form of destroying right now and I don't know what to do, Lord Jesus. Come and take absolute control of it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I'm going to be barren for my life. Lord Jesus, I no longer want to be afraid. I'm afraid that I will not be able to do the things I want to do. Lord Jesus, I don't want to be afraid. I don't want to be afraid. Lynn Priska, I will pray with you. I will pray with you. Just go ahead and pray quickly. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Deborah Dilly wants to give their life to Christ. Two people. Two people. Two people. Two people. You are on and you want to give your life. Just go ahead. Release the hearts, all of you. Thank you, Jesus. I will lead all of you. I will lead all of you. Lord Jesus, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. The word has come to me, Lord. I realize that the reason why I'm afraid is because I have not, you have not come into the situation. You have not stepped in a room which I have imprisoned myself in. You have not stepped into the room. The reason why I'm afraid because you have not come in. Jesus, come into the room. Jesus, come and be Lord of my life. Jesus, come and take absolute control. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, come and dwell. Jesus, come and take absolute control. Jesus, come and take absolute control of my paper issue, of my marital issue. Jesus, come and take absolute control. Come and dwell in Jesus. Come and dwell in. Come and stay in. The Bible let us know. Stand on the word of God and pray. The Bible let us know according to John chapter 20 verse 19 going. It said that the disciples were afraid. And so they locked themselves in the room. But the Bible says that immediately you appeared. You said peace unto them. And their fear left. And the Bible says they were overjoyed when they saw you. Lord come into my situation. Jesus 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 come and take absolute control. Jesus come into my situation. I hand over this situation to you. I refuse to be afraid. I refuse to worry. Come and take absolute control of this situation in my life. Come and take absolute control. Come and take absolute dominion. I refuse to be afraid any longer. I thank you, Lord. Lift your hands and pray. Dylan and Priska, I want to pray with you guys. Dylan and Priska, I want to pray with you. Those of you that want to give your life to Christ, lift your hands for me and say this after me. Say this from the depths of your heart. Say this from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died. And on the third day you rose again. Come into my life. Come into my heart. Be Lord of my life. Be Lord of my heart. Satan, I denounce you. You are no longer part of my life. Jesus Christ is now part of my life. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Come and be my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, come and be my Lord and Savior. I thank you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 If you said this, you are born again. I bless God for your life. Please inbox me. Please inbox me. Please inbox me. Please inbox me. Just type amen for me. Priska, type Amen. Dylan, Deborah, Dylan, type Amen and inbox me. I want to talk to you guys. Please release the heart and share. Type Amen. Type Amen. Type Amen. Kadabo Shebedebe. Ibarabo Subidibi Kabadabashaya. Kabadabo Subidibi Kabadababaha. Abadabo, may this I pray for you and your family. I see that. And Tim Time, I don't know. Cobwebs. Cobwebs. Dylan Dabra, 
Deborah Dillon, are you on? Priska, are you on? Kidaba Shedebeha. Type Amen. Kidaba Shedebeha. Kabarabo Shedebeha. Kabarabo Shedebe Kabahaya. Abarabo Shedebe Kabedebe Kabaha. Ibarabo Shedebe Kabarabahaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Release the heart. Kidaba Shaya. Mavis. I don't know if you have. Thank you, Deborah Dillon. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Where's Priska? Where's Priska? Kidaba Shadebeha. Kidaba Subidibi Kabahaya. Madanabo Shebedebe Kabaha. All right. Let me pray over the water. Let me do that before I forget. Please, love, love. Tabri, uh, Evelyn, go and get the cup of water. Only Evelyn, all of you, you've already drank water before. And you're healed. You're already healed. Only Evelyn. Evelyn, go and get it. Let me pray over it for you right away. And when you have it, say you are ready. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Kadadabo, shebedebe kabadabaha. You have it. We bless God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over water for Evelyn. I pray the water in her hand will turn from its natural state. Thank you, Lynn Preska. God bless you. God bless you. We saved two souls. Were, two souls were born again today. In the name of Jesus, any demonic attack against your destiny against the destiny of your five-year-old i curse it in the name of jesus i command the water to turn from its natural state to be infused with the power of god to be infused with the glory of god to be infused with the presence of god in the name of jesus may jesus come into this water and as you drink it, as your children drink it, in the name of Jesus, any spirit of autism, any HDHD, whatever it is, I curse it. I command it to come out of that child in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice struggling with the spirit of infirmity, sickness, depression, hopelessness, as you drink it, I curse it. And I command it to come out in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice. Something that is yours. Being taken from you. Release the heart. Release the heart. All of you that are on. Release the heart. Something that is yours. Being taken from you. I rebuke that spirit. In the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of miscarriage. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of not finished yet, but destroying things. In the name of Jesus, as you drink this water, anyone that is sick of cancer, I command the cancer to disappear out of their body. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and get it anyway, Mavis. I pray for you, Mavis. Whatever it is you are looking for, Mavis, I see. I don't know if you dream of cobwebs a lot. Or that when you are walking in places, you feel cobwebs all over you, Mavis. But I, I see cobwebs all over you. Cobwebs and thin time. And a dark, like a dark cloud be like covering you. Cobwebs. Maybe it's, does this make sense? Cobwebs. Do you dream of cobwebs? Do you walk into strange places and cobwebs just rub over you like you feel like you fall into cobwebs? Maybe it's, maybe it's, please respond to me quickly. I want to do something. I want to I want to respond to me. If it's not you, don't say it's you. But I sense cobwebs all over. When I mention your name, 
I, I sense that demonic spirit of cobwebs. Release the hearts and share. Release the hearts and share. Pretty Bob, share. Cobwebs all over. Who's that person? Mary Mavis, are you on sale? All right, let me move on. Let me move on. I come against, as you have the water in your hands, any infirmity afflicting you, I come against it in the name of Jesus. I come against it in the name of Jesus. May the Lord set you free. May the Lord deliver you. As you drink this water, anything that is on you, on you, off you, attacking you, that is not of God, may it come off of you in Jesus' name. Because nobody came into contact with Jesus and remained the same. Nobody, nobody, nobody came into contact with Jesus and remained the same. As you drink this water, may you not remain the same. May you be changed for the better in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and drink it. Go ahead and drink it. She said yes when? When did she say yes? I don't see it. She says sometimes. Now you are typing sometimes. You know what? I might come on tonight. I might. I'm not sure. I might. I might come on tonight. I come against that spirit of cobwebs. It's witchcraft manipulations fighting your destiny, Mavis. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you eat in your dreams a lot too. Your phone was giving you problem. Okay. I come against any witchcraft manipulations in your life. Please lift your hands. Let me pray for you quickly. Let me pray for you quickly. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft manipulations, maybe it's against your life and that of your family. I command it to be roasted by fire by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Look, rub some of the water in your face, okay? Rub some of it in your face. Rub some of it in your face. It's a direction. If you do it, it will work for you. Rub some of it in your face. Father, I commit each and everyone watching me under the sound of my voice into your hands. I pray, Lord, that you give them testimonies. I don't want anybody to be a testimony reader. In the name of Jesus, as these people have come on to study your word, stay on for one hour listening to your word. Father, they delight in you. Your word said, those that, that delight in the word of God, they shall, be, they shall be like tree planted by the riverside. You said everything that they do will prosper. I pray in the name of Jesus, I bless these people. I bless them, oh God. Let everything they do prosper. In the name of Jesus, according to uh, Psalms chapter 1, your word said, those that delight in the word of God day and night, they shall be like a tree planted by the riverside. Your word said, in due time you will bless them, and everything they do will prosper. You said their leaves will never wither. Let none of these people's leaves ever wither. In the name of Jesus, bless them. Bless their families. Let your blessings go ahead of them and reverse every curse. Put into their mouth testimonies upon testimonies upon testimonies upon testimonies in the name of Jesus. I declare that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against them, I condemn it. Anyone that I've shared, anyone that I've shared this on their wall, anyone that I've shared this on their wall, I pray in the name of Jesus that a special grace of favor and the visitation will come upon them because they don't delight eating, eating for themselves. They delight for others to be blessed. And so as they have shared, oh God, I pray that you will bless them. I pray that you will bless them. I pray that you will bless them. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I give you glory and I give you praise. Bless them, favor them. Continue to give them testimonies, Lord. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. I might... I might come on tonight. I might. 
But if I decide to do that, it will be 10 30 p.m. It will be 10 30 p.m. And I will put a flyer in the groups saying that I'm coming on. Those of you that are our friends, please go ahead and request and follow our page so you will know when we come on. You will know when we will come on. It will be prayers for just one hour, non stop prayers, non stop fiery prayers. And I'll go ahead and speak to some of you and prophesy to some of you as I'm led. But God bless you all. Those of you that want to sow into today's word, go ahead and do that. Those of you that want to also sow for the sister that is um, uh, onesie, that is, has gotten a job but is waiting to be paid. If you want to sow something into it, go ahead and inbox me. I will gather the money and I will send it to her. I'm actually about to go do that right now. As I get off, that's why I'm getting off. Because I want to go and do that before the shop close. So I'm going to leave to do that right now. But if you want to sow a seed for the ministry or you want to sow a seed in contribution to for her, please go ahead and do that so that she has three children and so that she will be able to be okay, financially okay to take care of them. God bless you as you do that. The Bible says it's better to give than to receive. It's more of a blessing to give than to receive. God bless you even as you do, though, you do so. In Jesus' name, if you are on and you don't have any, you want to give to support or to this ministry, but you don't have any, you don't know how, just message me. Just message me. Message the NSO Pony page and we'll send you the link of how you should go ahead and to contribute into it. God bless you and favor you. And may the Lord bless you as you release your seed to bless others. May the Lord show you favor and great grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye.